season, the rainy season, uh, developing again there. Here's the big picture. That's where all the shower activity is. High pressure is still uh, the dominant weather feature at the surface and in the upper levels to the east, and it's extending on into West Texas, so hot and dry could be the story for the next few days, even though our daytime highs may feel a little cooler. I don't, know if they, I don't know if they feel a little cooler, but they are a little cooler. Just trust me on that. Here's what's happening overnight tonight. Temperatures in the 70s, northern basin, mid-70s in Andrews, big, big Spring at about 72. 94 in Big Spring tomorrow, 97 in Andrews, mid-90s in Seminole, and about 96 in Jowl. Midland Odessa in the mid to upper 70s. And it gets a little cooler as you head to the south and southwest. Barstow at 73, Pecos at 74. They'll make it to 99 tomorrow. 100 Barstow, 97 Big Lake Garden City, also in the upper 90s. 73 for Fort Stockton, Sanderson 73, Ira Ann 74. And all upper 90s until Pecos. 100 there, 99 in Red Bluff. And for the Davis Mountains, 60s to start your morning. Low 60s for Davis Marfa, Valentine, upper 60s. 60s for Alpine, 77 Presidio, 101 for Presidio, 89 for High and Marfa, 87 in Fort Davis, and 91 in Alpine. Probably the place to be if you want it to be a little bit cooler. Seven day forecast, we're still going with upper 90s, but again, each and every day, there is still the potential to make it to 100. We're pretty sure we'll do it on Friday, Saturday, and then cool down a little bit Sunday, Monday, but all in all, we've got at least Five days on the map that could stay below 100, and that's good. So what did you, 14 days we've been 100 14 and days, eight in a row oh uh, until gosh. today so far. We don't need to break any more records. We don't. No, we're good at <laughs> right where we're at. All right. Thanks, Horace. Sure.